there. The crash site. We're almost there. We have to get across this bridge first. Let's go. Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Enslaved Odyssey to the West. I'm your host, Franklin Thorpe Gamer. And uh, we will be covering chapter 5 today. Um, maybe in one video, maybe two, maybe three, maybe six. Who knows? Okay. I know how we're going to get across. My cloud works here. What's that? It's a cloud. Doesn't look like a cloud. Don't be a smart ass, Trip. Well, maybe a little like a cloud. Be right back. All right. So as you can see, I get a cool hoverboard. No. Well, all I know is, it works some places and not in others. It must be able to resonate with static EM fields of high enough concentration. As I say, it works some places and not in others. Yeah. So can I get on it? Sorry. Only room for one. So, yeah, this is the cloud. It's basically my little hoverboard thing. Uh, I love how the game throws in that little plot device just to throw it in. They're just like, you know, we could have gotten across the landscape a lot faster. I've got an idea. If, oh, okay. You can use that crate. We could have gotten across the landscape a lot faster, you know, if we used this. But we can't use it. We couldn't have used it because Monkey says, All I know is it works in some places, doesn't work in others. Doesn't really explain why. I mean, she kind of did about, like, EMP fields and shit, but I... I mean, my bullshit radar is just going off a little bit here. And, and just saying that you guys probably just came up with some scientific jargon to, uh you know, try to cover up for the fact that, like, he's had this this whole time and we haven't used it because plot reasons. You make that jump? Yeah, I think so. However, I will say that the cloud is fucking awesome. I, I love this thing, and the controls on it are smooth, responsive, uh, it's fun to ride around on it. Honestly, I could spend the next 15 minutes just doing a whole segment riding around on the water here. And I guess I got another object to push over, so... And I think that this chapter in particular utilizes uh, the cloud a lot. It's not something that's like a one-off thing like a lot of games do. It's one of my issues with the Zelda series. I love Zelda games. But you ever notice that like there's a lot of Zelda games where you get an item and then you use it for one dungeon and then you just don't have to use it really much anymore. And like, and then you'll go to another dungeon and then use the shit out of uh, the item you get there and then you just won't use any other items like the only time that you use all your items in Zelda is uh, like when you're in Ganon's tower and you're required to use all of them to get through all kinds of different puzzles alright and speaking of puzzles how the fuck do I get up there never mind I just found out I don't think I go all the way out there but I do come over here I guess and we do a little speed boost off of here. Oh, it's just so fun to ride this thing. It just looks badass too. Okay, get out of the way. Okay, okay. Okay, so now that we got trip across that, uh shit. We're gonna go ahead and meet her up on this end. Come on, you slow bitch. I'm gonna get no female viewers because of this. Just never. They're gonna be like, he called a girl in a game a bitch! And I don't, he doesn't respect women! Ah! 
I love how I never noticed the cloud device on his waistband until now. I really don't think it was there before. I think it's just something that the game developers threw in when we got to this point. But he talks like he's had it this whole fucking time. And maybe he has. Maybe I just didn't notice it. Because it's been off like that. Just some ancient redundant technology. You're some ancient redundant technology. Let's keep going. Right. Okay. We're gonna have to climb up there. Oh, great. So lots of throwing trip up I'm and shit. Find another way around. I'll meet you over there. Okay. Well, at least she can make those jumps by herself. I'm proud of her. For all the ladies out there who think that I disrespect women by calling Trip a bitch, um, uh, she's she's handling herself well. She's a strong, independent black woman. She don't need no man. So, there. I respect women. End of story. And we're just gonna keep going and going and hopefully not die. Whoa. Going and going. What was that? Monkey, are you there? Nope. Yeah. But watch out, this bridge isn't too safe. Watch what you grab onto. Okay. Alright, cool. Come on. Throw me up there. Alright, I'll throw you up. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna climb up on this pipe. We're gonna sh shimmy 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 till the break of dawn, yeah. Um, wow, system of a down reference. Who saw that coming? I know I didn't. Um, just gonna keep climbing and climbing. So, I mean, there's really not much to say here there's not a huge amount of commentary i could be making uh you know it's uh, there's nothing to make fun of there's just oh shit i thought i was gonna fall just because i didn't walk to the end of the beam before jumping so wow look at that that is just magnificent and gorgeous indeed and i guess we're just gonna keep we're gonna climb down now uh <gasps> we're gonna collect a headband glitch so we can hopefully daydream about people on the computer having breakfast in bed uh being the only person to see romeo and juliet what's it gonna be this time the bridge in the city that's boring we didn't see guy mcface guy you know that we usually see in uh the the flashbacks oh this is a nice place to sit relax Look at your decrepit city that's dilapidated and destroyed now. That's it's a, a best seat in the house right there. Where are you? Dead. Look, we're nearly there. Okay, just keep it together. This place is falling apart. Get me out of here. I'm doing my best. Let's go. You can never quite make the jump, can you? When I throw you across ledges. Monkey, carry me, please. Ah, go fuck yourself. Fine. Jeez, you were gonna deactivate my headband and kill me just for walking up on that fucking platform? That's how close you were to killing me? Jesus Christ, woman. Insecurities much? I mean, yeah, the place is falling apart. And we will die if we don't, you know, move fast. But, jeez. Just take a fucking chill pill. It was horrible. Trip, you're such a pussy. You know, when we encountered the dog, you're like, Oh, that, that was so horrible, monkey. So glad that you're here. Oh, I can feel it breathing. Oh, no. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up, Trip. Stop oh, acting like you just had the most traumatic experience of your life. Shit. 
hate when the camera angle just changes and thus the controls do too I mean the direction in which I should be turning my shit how are we gonna get across there oh no we've got company let me scan That mech, it has a flaw. If you can damage its inner core, it'll self-destruct. Okay, so I guess... I guess that one self-destructs? I don't know, I wasn't really paying too much attention when I should have been. Okay, let's see what happens. Aw, I could have pressed B and done a really cool thing with him, I guess. I think I remember what happens. You just throw the one that's going to self-destruct into the other mechs and it blows them up. It's sad that I couldn't show you guys that. But that's life! That's life! That's what all the people say! You're killing mechs in April and a giant monkey guy in May. But I know I'm gonna make it soon to the end of the bridge to fight more mechs. I've been a monkey, a person, a pirate, a poet, a pawn, and a king. I've been up and down and over and out and I know one thing each time I find myself falling flat on my face I just pick myself up and get back in the no I die I die I die that's what happens I die um so where where's the trippinator oh, where's uh where's that trip there i don't know where the trip is uh i don't know where she went i don't know if i'm just supposed to continue without her uh oh there she is okay you could have said please okay there we go oh you made the jump you didn't uh need me to come rescue you okay my name is monkey i'm from minnesota uh or Canada. I'm from Canada. Uh, it looks like I'm supposed to use my stun here. Kill you. Well, I mean, not kill them, but stun them, because that's what that's what stunning means is to is to stun. Duh. Anyway, um, we're gonna we're just gonna continue forward, and we're gonna get shot at. We're not gonna die. It's gonna be a good time um, and we're just we don't have anything to worry about it's gonna be okay in fact I mean there's like literally no cover but that's fine cuz boom and then we just walk up to it and beat the shit out of it and then we beat the shit out of this one we kill it till it's dead is that is that a um, um, okay, I guess the gun arm just kept shooting away, um, even after I dislodged it and destroyed the body that it was attached to, uh, okay, um, and we just gotta go another 730 meters, cause, uh, us Americans totally use that metric system. Um, and is there anything down here? No. Why put that option there, guys? I was hoping for some candy or something. What was that? Damn. Another dog. How do we know that? How do we know it's another dog? I'll meet you on the other side. 
Aha! So it does serve a purpose. Yeah, let's collect that staff infection ammo. <laughs> I guess. And we're gonna walk to the edge and then jazump, jazump. <sighs> but great, there's another mechanical dog coming after us. That's fantastic. Um, just what we needed. We just had a mechanical uh, mechanical dog thrown at us last chapter, so then they thought it would be great to throw it at me this chapter, just like they thought the demolition mech would be really cool to throw at me two chapters in a row.